you doing it's your girl v moti and welcome back to my youtube channel if this is your first time visiting my channel i'd like to say thank you so much for watching my video make sure to like subscribe and comment and press on the notification bell so that anytime i post something you're notified of my content okay so in this episode going straight into the video in this episode i wanted to have a beginner friendly how to wear sanitary pads maybe for those upcoming teenagers i mean 12 11 13 14 maybe your period was late but um i don't think i had like okay my mom actually illustrated for me and she showed me how i'm supposed to wear a pad but at the time that it actually happened it came as a shock and a surprise which is very funny because i had the knowledge of how to and stuff so i just started to share how you wear a pad and some of my tips for girls when they're on their period and if you want to hear more about this stay tuned for more i'll be back just now okay so first tip would be ensure that you have black undies basic boring non-attractive undies that you don't mind um ruining because you're likely more than once to ruin um your underwear due to the period so or due to the pad because you know how the pad sticks on and comes off so just get underwear that is not necessarily attractive basic boring undies okay like these boring basic but they do the job you know so um cotton underwear but basic boring plain and they do the job okay so <clears throat> having gotten your underwear ready uh you obviously need pads so here i have with me pre-used partly used a pack of pads so it depends with your floor and what type of period flow you have there's the super heavy you can see from like the little droplets there there's like super heavy when it covers all the dots and then there's like medium there's a light flow different things and there's pads that you can use in the night there's pads that you can use during the day there's all types and all sorts of pads so you just need to know um the night pads what they are how they are used same thing but i feel like the night pads are a bit elongated so that you can relax and sleep and turn around and nothing really happens and then the day pads since you're supposed to be changing them every two hours um they are long some of them are long some of them are not long it depends it ultimately depends with the brand that you're using and uh, when i'm in zim i prefer to use always pads um you can find something that you are comfortable with and that you know um goes along with your flow and your body structure and how you know it, it feels when you put the pad on okay so i'm going to illustrate you wear a pad so this is a pad pack and inside the pad pack there's a pad so it's shaped like this some of them are thicker uh, I'll show you what I mean by that. So it has this strap, kind of like sellotape, that sticks. Um, I can't believe I'm going to ruin this pad. <laughs> so it's going to stick to the cover that the pad is on. And then it kind of, it, it's, it's pretty secure and tight inside there, you know. Like, And they have these, I don't know what it's called, but like, yeah, you can rip it off and then it will open. <laughs> So this is what a sanitary pad looks like inside. Um, and then the base is, it's, it's stuck onto the cover. So you're supposed to remove this cover, okay? And it will come off, it's, it's really sticky. I don't know if you can see, but like, yeah. It's pretty, pretty sticky. So you remove, and this is entirely off you take your underwear right it's not as basic but you know what i'm trying to say and then you are going to stick your pad onto your underwear like so okay so it sticks automatically sticks 
And then there's another part which is covered, which is covering the sticky part of the wings. Let me see. Yes. So you remove this, you peel it off, and then you are going to place one wing at the back. Like so. Okay. Like that. One wing has been stuck. And then the next wing of the pad. So you just press it down so that it, stay, it sticks and stays in position. And then your panty is ready to be worn. And you're going to wear your underwear and the pad is in place. The wings are really helpful because it helps position the pad and the pad will not shift, okay? And yeah, that is about it. So you put this on nicely, just like you like you normally wear your underwear, you put it on, and then um, after two hours, you remove the pad, okay? So you're going to just remove one wing first when you go to the bathroom, you remove one wing and then the next wing like so okay of course you you won't be doing you like you'll be wearing the underwear so you're going to remove it basically like that remove the wings from underneath and then you're going to pull out the sticky part of the pad and then you're going to I can't believe I'm ruining a not used pad. <laughs> You're going to roll. <laughs> roll your pad. Get some tissue. Okay, because you probably, I don't know, school, work, whatever. Um, cover it. Cover the pad. And then I like to cover the pad with its pad. The tissue and the pad and then I go back in with tissue why do I do this because the next person that's going to come in to the bathroom and it's a shared environment and they also want to place their pad there's nothing more annoying than seeing blood hey, it is really 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 frustrating so you just kind of cover it up be clean be tidy with the environment i mean think about the next person because how would you feel coming into the bathroom and there's like blood everywhere so when you're on your period probably when you go pee there may be some blood droplets maybe on the seat on the side or inside the 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 system so uh, just make sure when you're when you're done using the bathroom right you stand up you wipe yourself with tissue wipes whatever it is that you're comfortable with and then i'd advise not putting the tissue or the wipes in the in the system because it causes you know blockages and all these funny weird things right so um having done that you wipe the seats that you would have sat on or if you're not sitting but you're kind of like crouching but on the toilet you know like how you do when you're in the public toilet when you don't want to sit on the on the seat yeah okay so you just wipe around with tissue and then you flush and you make sure everything is neat and tidy for the next person that's going to come through and i'd also advise that like you've got dark and it doesn't have to be black um it can be dark blue dark purple anything dark it's advised not to wear like white jeans white shorts white skirts and all these colorful pink and bubbly colors during your period because you're likely to spoil and it's just better safe than sorry it's better like even if you have a light flow you don't want to have to explain what happened so change your pad two hours um make sure it's clean nice and tidy have a spare pair of underwear in your bag in case something really drastic and dramatic goes on make sure that you have wipes ready available and you have to shoe and um there are also these small um plastic packs that were there in my high school maybe they're there in your high school or i mean um your university whatever it is make sure that you put in you know this pack 
or if you use pad into that little plastic you tie it up and you put it in the bin and then yeah you just need to be because you know even the people who are going to come through and clean the bathroom let's just be courteous no one wants to see your blood no one wants to see you know what happened with you and whatever so just be careful and cautious and yeah care for the next person that's going to use the bathroom after you so that's basically it um you can also what i'd advise to do is you wear your dark undies and then you buy a pair of black tights right or black boxes or like you know something just to put on top just to make sure that okay you know what if in the event that something really goes on and it's i don't know how to explain it at least you have your boxes or your ties that are there to kind of act as like second base for the floor in case just in case something goes on okay okay so yeah those are my tips for um people who are kind of beginning their journey through their menstrual cycles and you could have some menstrual pains it's advised for you to have like a water bottle a hot water bottle and you can just place it on your tummy and um you can also take in hot fluids it actually it, it helps declot the some of the blood that may have uh, clotted and sometimes the clotting is what causes the pain so warm tea warm coffee warm water um hot water bottle and ultimately my mom always used to tell me that being on your period does not mean you are sick being on your period does not mean that you have to be moody and grumpy and i absolutely understand that there's people who experience hormonal changes and you know very moody and all these things but my mom used to emphasize that being on your period does not mean you are sick of course i mean you, you could have some form of pain and i get that but um just be careful to try and treat people in a way that if someone treated you that way and they were going through what you were going through you would you would be okay with it um i used to have a friend and she was yeah you like everyone used to know that she's actually on her period because of the way she would just be so rude and moody and snapping at people and everything. like i'm on my period whatever but then you don't know what I'm going through as much as I'm trying to respect and understand. It's, it's okay to tell me that, ah, oh, you know what, I've got period pain, I'm not feeling well. Okay, I understand, I'm not going to hustle you. But for you to um, lash out on people because you're on your period, I don't think that's right. So just bear in mind that, you know, even for, like, guys don't go through periods. We can't expect them to understand or know how it feels or what it is we're going through. So kind of keep it in your mind that... Um, yeah it is a process it's normal but i need to also be careful about the other person the next person okay so that's what i wanted to share i hope it was informative and and delightful and stuff i will text you after my next video remember to like subscribe and comment and i hope you have an amazing 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 week okay bye